Four teams in action here today that have made it to the final four in the 90s. UCLA, Michigan, UMass, but first up, Kentucky, South Carolina State. Jim Nance along with Billy Packer, we welcome you to this quadruple header here in Atlanta. And Billy, your thoughts on the first game today? Well, South Carolina State's rival, Coppin State, knocked off an SEC team last year. I don't think, however, we're going to see a Kentucky team lose today. They're 7-0 on this floor. Well, Cy Alexander brings his third team to the NCAA tournament, the Bulldogs of South Carolina State. 22-7 and record on the season. And they start Waller, McGowan's a two-sport star. He's the school's all-time leading receiver in football. He played here in a bowl game back in December, the Heritage Bowl. Dwayne Johnson, Blakeney is their star performer. Tyler Brown in the backcourt with him. Kentucky led by Tubby Smith. First time since 1988. Kentucky has been in the tournament without Rick Patino on the sidelines. Eddie Sutton took him back in 88. And Patino took him to the last two championship games. But it's Padgett Evans in for leading scorer Jeff Shepard, who will play, but has a sprained ankle, will not start. Muhammad, all-conference, Edwards and Turner in the backcourt. The officials today, Lopes, Harris, and Hughes. South Carolina State in the blue uniforms, and Kentucky controls to start. Kentucky has never lost on this floor, 7-0 all-time at the Georgia Dome, including the SEC title claimed here last Sunday. In which they just rode right through the SEC championship. Tremendous performance. Evans firing, tipped up by Padgett, and Kentucky controls. The Wildcats with a 29-4 record, the number two seed in the South. Missed out on becoming the first team ever to get four straight number one seeds. Jim, one of the things that Kentucky will have to be aware of is South Carolina State played a very difficult early season schedule, playing the likes of Duke, North Carolina State, South Carolina, and Clemson. So this team, although they lost those ball games, will not be in awe of playing the likes of a Kentucky. And that's something if you're Kentucky, you've got to come out right away and try to gain control. South Carolina State should have some real confidence having played against those teams and played fairly well, with the exception of Duke. Kentucky had four attempts on its first trip and a steal and a hit to Turner. Turner with the first two of the game. Turner picks up right where he left off last week, the MVP of the SEC tournament. Sensational uh, final game against uh, uh, South Carolina. 18 points, a tremendous assist leader for this ball club. Roderick Mumu Blakeney, number 12. He averages 21 a game for the Bulldogs. You can see Nazim Muhammad not going out on Waller unless he's going to hedge on a solid screen. Nothing there. away by Evans. Brown tried to force it inside. Turner driving again, and he's got two more. Tremendous bounce pass that time by Evans. And whether he comes off the bench and with Shepard out, Evans, of course, starting right now, but he is such a valuable guy to have coming off of that bench. Explosive score, really a veteran. South Carolina State's third trip. They haven't even attempted a field goal to this point. They've turned it over twice. There it goes. Johnson too strong. And Edwards underneath. All Kentucky underneath. Good dish. Muhammad for two more. 6 nothing Kentucky. Evans was going ahead to throw the lob to Edwards, who Edwards had the good angle. Kentucky foul so number 14. Evans called for the foul. Kentucky's record of 29 and 4 overall, Billy, very similar to what the Wildcats had as a record going into last year's tournament. Right, 30 wins last year. They ended up just one shy of the all time Kentucky record. Jim, one of the things that's interesting, though, they lost three games this year at home in Rupp Arena and one of which we had the Louisville game probably was as tough a loss as Kentucky's had in years. What South Carolina State's got to do is get the ball in Blakeney's hands. If he's the leading man, Ian Brown, they've got to take some shots. They haven't been able to get off a good shot yet. McGowan's three-pointer. He called for it. 6-3 Kentucky. McGowan's has already tried out, been in the NFL combines, tried out from some private practices, one with the Redskins. They said he ran a 4-4-9-40. Hadgett tries to bank it and tipped up by Evans. Way to answer it. What Tubby's got a hard time right now, Jim, when you look up at this score and you see the way the game is played and the difference in the personnel here, is you're coaching basically for this game, but you got to be thinking ahead a little bit as well. And that is, are you going to go to your substitutes early so that this team doesn't get bored on the floor? 
because there is such dominance in the part of Kentucky personnel-wise in this game. Another Evans. example. Evans gives it up to Padgett in a traveling violation. Guys can have a tendency to get a little sloppy in a game like this. South Carolina State's hit only one shot of three, and Kentucky jumps out in front 11-3. Jim. Well, Jeff Shepard may not have started today, but the reason he can play at all today is because of something he did on Tuesday. He spent the entire night in the team training room getting ice treatments on that left ankle for 35 minutes out of every hour. And while he basically slept through that entire process, trainer Eddie Jamil stayed awake all night making sure the treatments were administered on time. He says that effort was not in vain. Shepard's recovery over a full week ahead of schedule, guys. Mm. But you know what, Billy? He may not be even in the lineup at all today. Uh, I don't think needed. Yeah, I don't think it'd be a good idea to play him. You can see that uh, he has not only a little bit what looks like a little swelling, but he has discoloration all the way up to his knee. Three-point try by James Jones. And Kentucky with an 8-1 to one advantage on the boards. Jim, again, Mumu Blakeney has to go ahead and get the ball in his hands. He won the John McClendon Award for the outstanding player in black colleges last year. He's got to get the ball in his hands, put up some shots. That's a two by Evans, put on the line, and a 10-point Wildcat lead. Blakeney had 26 against South Carolina with their great backcourt, so he knows that he can score against good people. He has got to go ahead and try to get offensive-minded here. There's there a he shot. Is. And a three for Blakeney. Nice smooth jumper. He won the McClendon Trophy, as you mentioned, Billy, last year, and a favorite to win it again this year. John McClendon, a Hall of Famer, one of the most uh, outstanding basketball minds I've ever talked to in my life. John is a, a pure gentleman and actually studied under Mr. Naismith. At Kansas. Yep. Turner, two-point basket there by Turner, who has six. Everything just a little bit so easy for Kentucky. They really have to be careful here not to get sloppy. Jim, as you mentioned, uh, Kentucky 7-0 on this court, the three games they won last week in the SEC tournament. They also came in here and played well Basketball in the NCAA game. tournament, beating Xavier and out in South Alabama in 89. Temple in East Tennessee in 92. Jones with the basket off the bench for the Bulldogs. 15 to 8, Kentucky. South Carolina State going back to their man to man. That's a walk. We'll get you to your tip on time, those expecting to see Valparaiso Ole Miss, Western Michigan, Clemson. How do you see that game, Billy? Well, Clemson's the ball club right now that uh, got second life at the end of the year. They are in a pretty good shape from a standpoint of first time being healthy. And I would expect them to, uh, to have the advantage in that game. I think they're a dangerous team. Remember last year, of course, that brutal game they had with Minnesota. Blakeney, again, nice going. Here's where they have to get their scoring from. Ten-point lead is down to five. Five points Kentucky lead, under 13 minutes to play in the first half. Those of you awaiting first-round action in the Midwest, your time.